Welcome to the Meadows Investment Forum. It's my pleasure to introduce Cody Copper. That there used to be on Meadows Investment Forum before they made the big discovery. And I just had a very exciting visit. And then they are on the edge for a new discovery. I'm here with CEO Claudia Sonquist. Claudia, welcome. It's great to be here. Thanks for having me. Hi, right, great. Yeah, I, I was just on site two days ago and uh, you were drilling this time to the south. Can you tell us what you're targeting? Yes, we have a big drill program going on again this year, 25,000 meters planned. And it's a very exciting time for the company because over the last two years, our drill programs were focused on our first discovery, the gate zone. And this year is a very different year because we take the model that brought discovery success at gate and we will be testing four or five other targets. And all of those targets have a lot of discovery potential just like the gate zone had. They are previously drilled. Many of them have shallow gold, copper and gold already near surface drill proven and we will now test them deeper and um, with the aim to make the next high-grade discovery. Well, excellent. I remember last time, about three years ago, you came to Metals Investment Forum, you're presenting, you're going to drill this, this target. And next thing we know, your stock almost tenfolded when you make the discovery. That's a great discovery. And uh, you basically was doing the same thing, right? You have a shallow copper discovery and never drill, drill deep. And a lot of drill hole ended in mineralization, but they didn't drill deep. And then you're going to take it, hopefully you hit another big one or better one. Yeah, that's very um, much the case. We have multiple targets on the property. And the only reason why we started with the gate zone, where we made the first discovery, was one historic drill hole that was a little bit deeper that piqued our interest. That's the reason why we started at gate, not on any of the other targets. Those other targets are very similar. As you said, they have shallow mineralization already drill proven, and we will now drill deeper with the aim to find the higher grade sources or feeder zones of um, the lower grade mineralization that we know is there. Wow, excellent, excellent. You seem to follow the, the great bear footprint, right? You make one discovery, another discovery, and then you, boom, you have a make, make a major discovery. Well, um, it's certainly a very similar strategy. The way we add value for our shareholders is through drilling and discovery. We acquired the MPD project in the first place because we believe it has size potential. It is a large porphyry system with multiple centers. And we've successfully now drilled the first one at gate and discovered high grade mineralization. And now this year will be very important for the company as we take this model and apply it to other centers. And finding the next and the next high grade zone will be what really will prove our thesis that we have a very large profit system on our hands. Oh, excellent. Can you tell us uh, when, uh, what's the schedule you're trading? Uh, so you are drilling right now, right? When the results will come out, investors can take a note and prepare for the drilling results. We started drilling, um, we started our exploration program and mobilized in um, March and started drilling in April. And um, we will soon, in the next couple of weeks, have an update with um, some more information on where we got to, where we are drilling, etc. And the first results from this year's program will come in the summer. I think likely in July. Well, excellent. So the summer, be careful. Summer, don't go to the beaches. Watch for Claudia's <laughs> results. <laughs> that, that, that's, that's very exciting. Also, can, can you tell us, uh, you know, you, you, your background, your, uh, your management background, and then your success before with, uh, you know, like the Chris Taylor success with Ray Bear? Mm -hmm. Well, people behind the company, obviously very important. I feel very fortunate to be working with Chris Taylor, who's the founder and chairman of Kodiak and who's really an excellent geologist, very much an out-of-the-box thinker. 
And obviously he proved that with Great Bear, our sister company, which he sold last year and generated almost $2 billion for shareholders. Yeah. And what he did at Great Bear was he took a project that uh, lots of people had looked at and he just interpreted it in a different way. And I mean, the rest is history. And Kodiak also is a similar story where our project, MPD, lots of people have had looked at it in the past, couldn't figure it out. And Chris, with a new idea, made it work. So yeah, every exploration company is as good as the geologist who leads it. And Chris certainly is an exceptional geologist with a great nose for good projects. Wow, well, excellent. Can you tell us about your, your background as well? Well, my background is more the business side. I've been now in resources for over 20 years and almost 10 of them with Rio Tinto. And the type of roles I um, have been doing is um, M&A, business development, business evaluation, so financial, commercial type roles. So Chris and I are very complimentary, really. Exactly. He covers the technical side, I cover the business side, and we work really well together. Oh, good, good, good. From your financial background, what are you aiming for? Like eventually maybe someone take you out or and what kind of, uh, you know, price or something uh, mm -hmm. you can have a blue sky, you can tell shareholders. Well, I think what you just alluded to, um, us being taken out, that's probably a likely scenario sometime down the future. Poor free projects such as MPD, they're not a junior's game. They are big projects and typically run, developed, built by majors. So at one point, if we keep having success, we will become a takeover target. And I think the best comparable to Kodiak is probably a company called GT Gold. Yeah, they also it. made a mm. porphyry discovery further north in British Columbia. And after a couple of years of exploration, they were taken out by Newmont for just under half a billion dollars. And that was certainly nice. successful, um, uh, a great success story. And um, that's the model um, and that's what Kodiak's aiming for. Um, or GT or maybe Great Bear, <laughs> even better. <laughs> <laughs> oh, excellent, excellent. So uh, to tell us uh, uh, you, what you, you, you seem to have already have a, already successfully finished financing and then you are uh, how much money you have and how much uh, runway you have from, from here. We have 12 million in the treasury now. So are uh, fully financed for all of this year's work. And that's of course a fantastic place to be in because equity markets are weak at the moment. Mm -hmm. So we are fully financed and have lots of results coming up this year and the potential for more discoveries. Okay, great. Who's your largest shareholder? Can you tell us your share structure a little bit? Our largest shareholder is Tech. They are they invested um, right after our initial discovery and they own 9.9% of our share capital, a very supportive shareholder. Obviously the market um, responded very well to them investing because they are a major company and they invested because they think our project has the potential to be big. Mm -hmm. And as I said, they've been very supportive and have invested at every financing since the original um, financing. So very pleased to have them right. in the board. Excellent. Excellent. I'm your shareholder too. I'll be ruling for you. <laughs> <laughs> yes, of course. I bought lots of, of Kodiak shares in the market over the last two years um, because I believe in the potential of our project. Okay, great. So looking forward to hear good news from you in the summer. Thank you.